All right, Kyle Milan Racing, KMR, welcome back. We've got the Mazda Trick Super Lightweight Titanium and Aluminum Cast Iron Rotors here in front of us. I was fortunate enough to work on this project. If you saw the previous video we just put out talking about the Aluminum Cast Project where we had actually taken OEM rotors, cut the faces out, and reinserted aluminum, I'm sure you were interested to also hear about the titanium rotors I mentioned in that previous video. So after doing our initial work with the OEM rotor and aluminum, uh, Mazda Trix and everybody involved opted to go to a titanium casting. And this is where we actually, or Dave at Mazda Trix, along with all of us consulting, um, actually went into designing a titanium cast rotor that used aluminum inserts and an OEM stationary gear. Um, a lot of this was to reduce cost, reduce weight, try to be as light as possible. Um, we didn't want to have to make our own stationary gear, so using the OEM ones just seemed more practical. Um, and then this also gave us a way to create our side seal groove. And we were always worried about titanium alone uh, having the stickiness that it does uh, and the seal tolerances that Mazdas do have. Um, we worried about the feasibility of long-term application um, and whether or not that movement of the side seal in the side seal groove or apex seal in the apex seal groove would eventually gall up. Um, and we never really got into long-term testing or any type of real horsepower testing on these. Um, and that was just due to some casting issues. And I think at that point, Mazda Tricks had invested so much money into the project and there's really not a massive market. At least there wasn't 10 years ago for something like this. And at that point, this is where this particular project stopped. But continuing to talk about it, what we did end up testing were these titanium cast rotors in different iterations. And some of the things we liked um, were that we ended up being able to do a multi-piece rotor that did seem to work in an engine. Uh, we never got full functionality, but we got really close. And we also were doing inserts of a different metal, not titanium, into the apex seal grooves to reduce the potential for sticking. Uh, titanium has certain expansion rates, and we wanted to eliminate the issue of a traditional apex seal having a loss of compression or a sticking issue in a OEM style tolerance apex seal groove. So the combination of aluminum, titanium, and steel ended up being used to create an extremely unique and extremely lightweight rotor. I believe to be probably one of the ro lightest rotors um, tested, at least at that point that we had done this with Mazda Trix. Um, while I was working at Mazda Trix as an engine builder, um, we don't know of anybody that had anything lighter or got any closer to functionality. Uh, one of the issues we did have, uh, and it all came back to seal tolerances, was the ability to get the proper side seal groove tolerance with no um, issues, no wavering, uh, no uh, change in tolerance. It's such a critical area. This is a big part of building compression. And if for any reason the rotor is expanding under heat too much, the metallurgy of it, um, or the seal tolerances are not proper to start with or changing too much, that could be wide, long, short, tight, any of it. Um, you basically don't build compression or can't maintain compression. Um, and that was something we worked on a lot. And one of the ways we were trying to get around that was to actually use the insert as one uh, face component and then the titanium as the other face component. And then we were also WPC treating uh, the seal grooves to further eliminate any type of uh, friction uh, that would cause galling or binding um, in long-term application. So really neat stuff um, in these castings that Mazda Tricks did uh, with some other partners. They did end up redesigning the rotor. So in our original trial and work, we were still working with OEM rotors. So you, 
your oil galleries were still maintaining their OEM shape. And I have a lot of opinions on this, so if anybody ever wants my consultation on one of these projects, I'm happy to talk to them about it. Um, but in this case, Mazda Tricks ended up redesigning the internal structure, which is part of the oil capacity. And uh, I thought that was really fascinating and interesting because that's part of your balance and uh, that's part of your weight capacity. So all in the name of trying to reduce weight, uh, that internal spinning mass uh, from the rotor. So one of the issues we had also outside of uh, tolerances was in the casting. We would probably do 3D printing now, but 3D printing wasn't really available 10 plus years ago in an affordable range. And so we ended up going with castings. And in the casting process, we ran into an issue where the metal ergy uh, shrinks in a grain direction. And so our castings, some of them did not come out quite big enough. And that's why this casting didn't get used. You can see we were actually running into some non-machinable areas where we were running out of tolerance. So it ended up being a really cool project. I'm so happy Mazda Tricks has allowed me to talk about it and showcase these rotors. Please do not contact Dave at Mazda Tricks. Um, we will let everybody know if we bring these to a production level. But at this point, we are not personally developing the project anymore. Um, Dave is allowing some other people to develop, but uh, you know, feel free to ask questions. I'm happy to help, but please appreciate Mazda Tricks for their fine rotary parts and inventory and great online ordering capabilities. And please do not bombard them with questions about their 10 year old titanium and aluminum rotor projects. It's very cool. We all loved doing it, but uh, they're not selling them. They're not available, so don't ask. All right, so that's a wrap. Um, thanks for watching. I'll try to post the weights on these rotors in the comment section below or in the description, description section because I'm sure everybody would like to know and I didn't have a scale handy. Uh, make sure to check out the first video where I talk about the aluminum cast rotors based on OEM. And then this is obviously the second video where we're discussing the Mazda Trix titanium rotors and titanium aluminum rotors that were cast with uh, steel apex seal inserts and aluminum inserts in different iterations. I do uh, like some of these things and have opinions on these designs and would love to see people re-explore this. So uh, everybody out there, like I said in the previous video, uh, you know, Mazda Tricks held this pretty close, so now you're getting to see it. So I want to see some people get creative on those 3D printers and CAD designs. I think uh, this is very feasible uh, in different applications. So KMR, wrapping out. Uh, get your parts from Mazda Tricks. Thanks, Mazda Tricks, and follow KMR. Brap, brap.